Look at his hair. Beard kind of fresh. <laughs> I would say before the program my real max was probably a 245 or 250 so my bench definitely did go up I just over uh, overestimated my max on bench and yours mine was probably like 110 which is what we put it in as and then like based on my calculations my new max is 115 so the bench didn't really go up kind of disappointed with that but um, again like it happens so I'm just gonna keep going and hopefully I'll get to 135 soon  And uh, so that's about it. We did film squats and deadlifts, which we're going to show you guys right now. So enjoy these clips, and we'll talk to you after they're done.
okay, so as you just saw, uh, we hit a few new maxes. <laughs> Lakshmi's projected projected max is is 250 pounds, and that went up from a 225 pound squat. So that's a 25 pound jump um, for her. For me, my my squat went up to a 335, which is a 20 pound jump for me. Um, and I, I mentioned previously, I used to use wraps, so I never really knew my max. And I think I've, I overestimated slightly with the two, 315 also. So my squat went up tremendously. Um, okay. And then on deadlift, Lakshmi had a new max, which was... 335. 315 was actually a new max for me because even though like we had everyone thought that I could do it because 305 would look kind of easy, I had never actually attempted it. Um, and then when I got 335, it was a, it was really like messy. Like my form, my background, it, I was shaking. But I mean, I'm just gonna take it because I still did the lift. Yeah, and I think, so. yeah, so we, we did the program off a of 315 bend, uh, 315 deadlift, but her max was actually 305 and she's never done anything heavier than that. Yeah. So we'll call that a 30 pound jump. And then for me, my deadlift uh, stayed exactly the same. I think there's, I mean, I was really frustrated because a video I put way back when we went to Lifetime was when I hit um, that that four plate deadlift. And since then, you know, I, I never really felt like I was progressing on the deadlift like I did with squat and bench. Uh, especially because Candida's program is very, very low volume in terms of deadlifts. Like some days you don't do it, some days you just do it's usually assistance work. work. Yeah. There's no, there's not a lot of percentages that you work with, and um, I don't know. It just it felt bad. I also the surprising thing about all these maxes that we're hitting is we're both cutting. We started this program on a cut. We're st we're very deep into the cut now, so it's a it's a pretty big deal. But I've never eaten this little before too. So I think even though you yeah. didn't get a new like PR technically with the amount of food you're eating that is in itself Yeah, um, so yeah. My deadlift stayed the same. I um, I I'm when we start a new program, which is gonna be next week uh, I'm gonna start the program on a sumo deadlift and I'm gonna stick with the sumo for however long the program is it's either gonna be 12 or 16 weeks I don't know so it's a lot of time to work on my sumo before I'm gonna work up to a new a new real one rep max so I am gonna make that switch and keep working with the sumo the thing about conventional is even though I'm strong on it now I just need to swallow my pride let my sumo be weaker than my conventional and just work up to it because you know you even now like I my back would feel it in conventional mentally. I think the biggest thing was that mental barrier that I have to get over. And you guys all know that when you're lifting, it, it's so much how your mentality affects your performance. And and no matter how light the weight is, in the back of my mind, every single time, every single rep is my lower back, you know, getting tweaked or something like that. And so I think a sumo physically and mentally will just be better for me in the long run. And you know, I don't ever plan to stop lifting, so I have all the time in the world to improve. But that's about it, guys. This was our test week. We're happy with the program. We're not running it again. Um, this was the first time we really incorporated we, powerlifting into our workouts. Yeah, so this like, was the first. I loved it. I thought it was great. Yeah, this was the first program we ever actually did, like, structured program other than I think it my own programming. a lot, too, you know, like, because before we would always play around with our squat form. I think now we're both really comfortable with, like, more narrow stances and stuff like that. Which is nice. Yeah, so that's about it. We haven't decided on the the next program we're gonna do, but we will keep you guys updated on that um, in another video. But that's about it for this one. So we hope you enjoyed it. Thanks as always for the support and for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Stop.